question was to discuss the different technologies um, and websites and things that we used when planning and researching and creating um, our media products. So some examples which I found that we used were, um, to find the band, we used unsigned.com, which is a website where many different unsigned artists and bands will release their music for people to hear, and that's sort of how they can get picked out of things. So we researched into, first of all, the rock genre, and um, Band to Band called Not My Day, however, we were unable to get um, permission to use their music. Um, so we looked into indie rock especially, and found a band called 10,000 Pieces. Um, and we decided that there were several songs to choose from, but having one that was too long would create too much work for us, and that could mean that maybe the title would thought the video would drag on a bit and that kind of thing. So we wanted to keep something that was in normal target, normal time range of a music video, but also quite short so that the audience don't think it's going on and on and on. Um, and that's why we chose my life, to do with the length of the song and the meaning behind it, the synesthesia. Um, I also used YouTube a lot when researching different bands and artists such as um, Katy Perry and Unit 6 um, because this meant I could watch different videos and see the comments that their target audience would have written about it um, and the feedback they get for their videos. Um, but also to do with the way the shots look and that type of thing which meant I could analyse it better. Um, we used um, a Nikon D3100 camera when videoing um, are any any of my vlogs or the video itself, the music video itself, um, which we thought was good because it's a HD camera. Um, and this meant we were able to use different technologies of different types of cameras because we, at our school, we have um, just videotape cameras. And this meant that we could use our video was of better quality, perhaps. Um, and clearer, although this did mean that when using Final Cut to edit it, um, it took us a while to render because there was so much pixelation, I suppose, within the video, and therefore that was quite time consuming for us. Um, but as I discussed about Final Cut, um, we used this to edit our video. Um, and with this, I was able to learn about shortcuts to using buttons, so the different letters you could use. Um, <laughs> And I was also able to establish the length that's needed with each clip because if it's too long it doesn't work with the video. So for example during our guitar solo at the time it was just the one clip of the guitar solo which was quite a few seconds long. And although it looked okay it didn't really work with the video or the fact that it was all fast transitions and then one big long slow one. Um, so we decided to put other clips in of the bands um, and therefore cutting up a bit and having it still flow the same as the rest of the video. Um, also, we were able to play about with different effects that we may have wanted, so we had a fade at the beginning and at the end, um, because that's sort of introducing and ending both the band and the video, especially with the text, um, where because they're a new band it will reintroduce them. And at the time I didn't know how to use text and therefore I was able to establish the way in which you have to go into effects and type out what you want, and it's almost like it's almost like a clip itself, it becomes a new clip and you're able to cut it down to the amount of time you want it there, how you want it to be presented and that kind of thing. Um, another piece of equipment which I used was PowerPoint um, to do a lot of my written work because that way I'm able to present it better and also I'm able to, to sort of establish the way it's written, the present, presentation of it means I can add images and move it around a lot easier than I could do on another um, publication. And from this, I was able to learn, like, um, I was able to help me with even my other tasks because presentation became a key thing for me. Um, and therefore, if it didn't wasn't up to the stance I requested, then um, it wouldn't be in. For example, some of the shots that we used originally, some of them were a bit blurry, um, and by this time we didn't have much time left for our music video to be handed in, um, but um, I managed to convince my other group members that we had to stay behind at school um, to reshoot these because if you have an out, all of it in focus and the rest out of focus, it just makes it look more unprofessional and it won't look much like a video. Um, therefore we decided to refilm them. Um, we also used MySpace because to be able to contact the bands we had to write letters to them and get permission. Um, 
So we, used, we found their MySpace and wrote to them on MySpace um, to see what they want, whether we were allowed to or not. Um, and I also used Blogger, which is um, the place where you make the blog, pretty much. Um, <laughs> And I was able to learn like how to move things around, and that sometimes one thing I really struggle with is my blogs um, about the amount of time it takes to put them up and things because some of them wouldn't upload straight away, so they had to be put on YouTube, um, which took quite a while depending on the length of the video, and then put on from YouTube to the blog because otherwise it was hard.